Hello, this is Bulbox here. Unscripted, unedited, face cam, first ever vlog. Yes. Okay, whatever. Anyways, hello, this is Bulbox here. This is an update. Basically, what I'm gonna say is that I am back to uploading. I have my computer. I can't show to you because it's not... Well, I have it, but I don't want to just pick it up, move it, and stuff, you know. Plus, I'm doing this from a webcam, so maybe physically pull out the internal camera and flip it around. I don't know. Break it some more. Anyways, um, basically, I'm back to uploading. They w The uploads I will try to do bi-weekly. Um, Pikmin Part 5, Pikmin 3 Part 5, probably won't come out on Wednesday because of uh, stuff. I still have to relaunch that series and stuff. There's some stuff I need to do. It's stuff. Don't want to get into the details. Because it might be confusing. But there's stuff. And yeah, I am trying to get uh, Relay Versus going. I don't have anything pre-recorded. That was the... Uh, the episode 6 was the only one I recorded since my computer crash, which I recorded two months ago. Wow. Anyways, um... So yeah, two month old up, uh, episode I just put up, and yeah, that series, by the way, won't be weekly anymore. It'll just be whenever. Uh, I'm gonna try to do it at least two times a month, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm just gonna get them uploaded as I can. And besides that, yeah, the rest of this video is just gonna be dicking around because I felt like it, and I wanted to, and now I can use face cam, so I want to try using face cam... Yeah, I got Drill Birdo. I wish I had Pikmin stuffy, but Drill Bird will have to do. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. I don't know much about Pokemon. Um, I only played uh, third and fifth gen, the sequels um, of fifth gen, and I've played. Um, uh, the C the remakes of first gen. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I've played a tiny bit of second gen, but not enough. Um, as in the first two gyms. And look at Drillbird. He just wants to hug you. He's like, Yeah! I'm a rapist. That's pretty much how he is. Uh, I haven't played with all the Pokemon, so I can't really say if it's my favorite or not. So, yeah. Anyways, a few days ago, I actually wanted to make a vlog on my second channel, but, um, why not do it here? I found this picture, this picture of Pikmin 3 ideas that I actually drew before E3 2012 when Pikmin 3 was officially announced. So, there's a lot of cool ideas on it. A lot of them are based off of Pikmin 2. More than what the final game was based off of, which is Pikmin 1. I personally think it was pretty much just a s another sequel to Pikmin 1 instead of a sequel to Pikmin 2, but whatever. Um, uh, yeah, Pikmin 2 could have never existed and the game would still be fine. Um, and makes sense, Pikmin 3. So it doesn't really live up to its name. Anyways, uh, there's a few new types of Pikmin on here, as you can see. Um... Pikmin, Pikmin, Pikmin. Uh, light, light. Can you go up a bit more? Yeah, my light bulb went out, so, um, I'm using a lamp. Anyways, we have flying Pikmin. No, with my other hand. Okay, I'm not used to this. Flying Pikmin right here, and he'll fly with, like, helicopter wings, kind of like tails. Um, so yeah, that's the flying Pikmin. Obviously, they came out with winged Pikmin, which, you know... It's pretty much just the, the same thing. Um, this is a seed Pikmin, which uh, there's demonstrations down there. It's basically just like a winged Pikmin, except actual separate stems instead of leaves. There's an ultra spicy Pikmin, an ultra bitter Pikmin, and a perfect Pikmin. Perfect Pikmin can do everything and has the characteristics of every Pikmin. This was more of just like a fan thing. But a lot of these uh, four Pikmin are actually very realistic in what they can do. Uh, basically, an ultra spicy Pikmin is basically just a spray. If you have like 10 or so, um, they each represent a berry. And I believe you have 10 berries you can use in them. If you have 10 of them, you can kill them 
you can sacrifice them for ultra spicy spray but then you'd have deaths and it would ruin your score so it's kind of like a risk reward situation same with the bitter um and then yeah and there's demonstrations over here uh, let me actually look at this he has d quick demonstrations of all of them here but there's actually more separate demonstrations down here um let's see what i was talking about with the ultra spicy and bitter pikmin and then we have uh the seed pikmin over here which would be um sees an enemy and he hides in the ground the enemy can attack it's kind of like a rock pikmin how rock pikmin can uh go like not get crushed except this one's just with every enemy and he can pick it later um so it's basically just survival pikmin just extra pikmin to do general stuff um no abilities other than that so it's pretty much just like an easy pikmin just to use for newbies uh this page most flying pikmin except they don't constantly fly they're on the ground then they go up and fly so yeah and there's the other side of the paper which is uh shows um uh a ghost pikmin picky mar or oli min from um the bad ending in pikmin one and then the pikmin with all the elements and then a clear pikmin which basically what a clear pikmin would do is you'd get a pikmin and then if it walked into water it would be a blue pikmin forever if it went into electricity it'd be a yellow pikmin forever red fire red pikmin the crystal raw walk pick rock pikmin forever so it's just like an easy way where you don't have to go back to the onion you can just have pikmin like it'd be good for exploring when you don't know what's up like what's gonna come so you just bring like every type of pikmin instead you just bring clear pikmin and then when a uh, uh, thing comes up that you need to do they can automatically transform into that pikmin but then there'll be that pikmin forever they can't convert back to clear or whatever so it's just a handy little tool. I think that would have been cool. Uh, here's a whistled ghost Pikmin. It's just an idea. I don't know what it would do. But, you know, it just looks cool. And then we have this concept uh, over here. This is just more stats elements like water and uh, electricity. But we have the king of Pikmin. Basically, like, you're probably wondering. Since Olimar and stuff are aliens to the Pikmin... How would, what would their natural leader be? What were they created for? What, like, they obviously have to have a leader because that's pretty much the only way they can attack or do anything. So, they'd have to have a natural leader before Olimar. And basically, the final boss of Pikmin 3 would be the king of Pikmin. And it was the natural leader of the Pikmin and you had to destroy it because it kept interfering with your Pikmin. Because it wants to control the Pikmin because it's... It naturally did from the beginning of time in the Pikmin universe ever since Pikmin were created. So it's kind of like, you know, Hawkitation's doing bad things to nature, you know, the works. Anyways, I'm going to start playing um, uh, this game because Chugga, Chugga influences people to make play games. I'm going to move this lamp over a bit. Um... See, so yeah, I'm going to replay this game. I haven't played it since last year. So I haven't played it in a year besides watching what uh, Chugga has uploaded of his LP so far. So I'm just going to have fun with that. That's something I'm going to be playing. I'm also trying to get into Pokemon Black in 2 again because... Um, no, Black and 2. No, Black 2. I have Black 2. It's actually the only Pokemon game and the first Pokemon game I've ever actually owned without emulation. Um... And it's kind of a little nostalgic for me because I did play third gen first on emulator, but that was really because of Chugga's Emerald LP. So I was kind of just replaying his LP as if I was playing it. So I watched the LP fully, then played the game. So it wasn't really nostalgic. This I was the first Pokemon I necessarily played blind. So yeah, um, I love this music. Um, but basically what I'm trying to do, I'm not very good at Pokemon, so it's pretty hard for me, but I'm trying to raise up this guy up here, this Mamua or whatever it's called, they call it Pot and Weed, so whatever. Also, by the way, totally not a name I ran frantically came up with from another LP because I didn't know what to call it and I didn't really care. Um, it sucks that if you get Pokemon from trainers, you can't rename them. 
That's what sucks. Computer, don't go into sleep mode. Okay. Um. See, so yeah, and then I have the Snivy, which is one of the only stars that doesn't go into a twin type of Pokemon. See, so yeah, I'm trying to raise a pot and weed. Um. I just like the Pokemon. I played it on uh, Cloud's tournament for Pokemon Showdown or whatever. First 5K sub, fifth 5K subs. Yeah, 5K subs. I was about to say 50k, so... I liked it, you know. I know from other favorite Pokemon lists or whatever, it isn't the best Pokemon in the world, but... You know I like it. I got it from Pokemon Dream Radar, so... I ca I paid money, essentially, for it, so... And then I got a bunch of Swablus, also. Which I... Evolved into Altaria and actually used. But... That's my house level Pokemon, currently. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. And... Uh, 3DS XL. Still broken. I don't know what I'm going to do for X and... System update. Will it fix my screen? No. Okay. Uh, whatever. A they always say AC adapter, but that's only if you're like... System's really... In the... Like, almost dead. And that update took literally two seconds. It's already done. So... Nintendo, you suck. I didn't really need that. Anyways, it still doesn't work. I don't know what I'm going to do for X and Y. The reason I'm going to play Kid Icarus on my regular 3DS is I actually only played it once as a test on my XL, so I've never been used to playing Kid Icarus on the XL anyways, because, again, I haven't played it in a year. It's kind of like when that game... It's a great game, don't get me wrong, but um, I just play it whenever and stuff. So, yeah. Also, I got some... New cards for my Wii so I can record Relay versus Easier. I'm holding the cords right now, but I can't seem to get into Peter's view. Yeah. New HDMI cords for the Wii. They're just the regular Wii. So that's why I'm recording it off of. So I can get in uh, 720 or whatever. Because editing 1080p files is really laggy. Well, more laggy than normal, and takes a long time, and with a project with so much process going on at the same time, I can't afford to do high processes. I have Galaxy right here, ready to be played to record the next episode. Miss Ya Bender, I want you, I want you to play this with. And yeah, you guys can still enter to play this, uh, Bean Relay Versus, just go to the first ever video. Um, which is the introduction video, the one before episode one, so episode zero, and just, uh, listen to the instructions there. I'm still gonna accept people who want to be in Relay versus it's still going on, and the people who already asked to be in it and I didn't fulfill yet, um, you guys are still gonna be in it. So yeah, just contact me, we can get it ready, we can do it. Why am I announcing this at the end of the video, when at the beginning I said everything, then I was gonna ramble for ten minutes now, but, meh. Maybe I should make a vlog or something, I don't know. And also I need to keep active, because the only thing I'm gonna be recording is, uh, uh, Relay Versus, because Pikmin 3 has been recorded for a month, the entire LP. So, and it's funny because I haven't even finished editing the first recording since I recorded day one and day two in the same video file, so, mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, day two is going to be episode three, four, and five. So, yeah. But after that, it's each, each day is going to be two episodes. You know, the only reason it's like that is because there's a lot of, you know, text and dialogue and stuff. Well, I think for day four, it might actually be three episodes because there's that little yellow Pikmin section, if you guys know. I don't want to spoil too much, but it's relatively early in the game when you discover yellow Pikmin, that thing happens, so, yeah. Yeah! And in my LP, I discovered that on day four. Um, now, obviously, I just do it on day three because I can kill Almond Mordad on day two because I'm so cool. Yeah, when I edit that, I'm literally like, "What the fuck, Boblox?" But you know, it's the first time I ever played, so. Mm -hmm. <sighs> on my second playthrough, when I played it, I got half the time I did on my first playthrough. I was mainly just exploring and stuff, and I also missed one power up in the LP, which I will go over in the finale. I just pick up on anything I didn't, I missed. 
But yeah, I have nothing else to say. This video is 15 minutes. Thank you guys for watching. Also, one thing before I go, I want to ask you. It, what do you want me to do in another project while I'm doing these? I know it's a lot, but... um, Like, a project that doesn't require such amount of episodes. Like, it doesn't require me to go to the end. Like, uh... I don't know, just like one video kind of series things. Like, wait, and not a let's play or a series where I can end it wherever and it doesn't matter. Like Animal Crossing or thing. Why am I doing this motion? Why am I weird? Why am I weird? You've been looking at my face for 16 fucking minutes. Wow! Okay, there was one more thing I want to say. I want to say it at the beginning of the video, but... Let's Playing probably won't be my primary focus as much as it was in the past. I want to focus on more, uh... More on school and other things than, uh... Let's Playing. Let's Playing is going to kind of be an afterthought. So that's why I said bye daily, um uploads. I do want to slow down the uploads. YouTube is my life. Uh, I don't really get any money off it because I only get checks every 50 bucks and that's only happened once so far. So, and I've been partnering for a year. No, it's happened twice. So I got $100 in a year. Wow. Such a profit. Let's playing full-time job, life job, finished $100 a year. Wow. To a kindergartner. Anyways, I've been Bo Blacks. Thanks for watching this ramble on edited and stuff. And I'll see you guys in Pikmin 3 and Relay versus Link in description to Relay versus intro Introduction, where you can learn the ropes of Relay versus if you don't know. If you don't know, Drill Brother, why are you on the floor? Drill Brother wants to say goodbye too. He loves you. I wish I had a lemon stuffy. Someone needs to custom make me a lemon stuffy. Anyways, bye! Bye! Bye!